Hi Libra, it's... Okay, so we have the Four of Rods and we have the Page of Pentacles for your awareness for the week. So the Four of Rods, we see the couple here going through the portal, kind of leaving behind the homestead. And there are a lot of flowers. You know, this is a celebration. This is a recognition of a couple or it's someone, perhaps it's you, but there's a real sense of uh, enjoying maybe the results of a project that's been completed. It could be the celebration of people finding each other, getting engaged, getting married, having children. It's all of the conventional celebrations that we honor, you know, within our communities. So this brings people together, family and friends, and they are uh, able to, you know, just share in the delight, really, of success for some. Some people uh, relate to this card as a marriage card, as a possibility for marriage, as an engagement card, or a desire for stability within a relationship. Others see a new path here, a new opportunity, um, that this couple is going to take as they move forward. So the four of rods can suggest that maybe this week you're going to have a celebration to attend. Maybe it's a birthday luncheon at the office. Maybe it's a child's birthday party on the weekend. So it could be a number of things, but it really is the bringing together of people to celebrate. And with the four of rods, here we have the page of pentacles. The Page of Pentacles holds this large pentacle and is in deep thought. And so this page is going to study, is going to learn, and is going to acquire the knowledge necessary to make more pentacles, to build a strong foundation, to create more abundance or more security. Doing so with the pentacle approach, which is common sense, hard work, having a plan, knowing what you're trying to do, and being well-informed. These qualities of this youthful page, it could be someone who's learning from you within your life. It could be you having the feeling that you're having to learn something new and that you're going to be practical and you're going to have this certain route into building your resources, building your investments, your career path learning more about ways to do so. You know, you may be deciding to take a um, online course. You may be meeting with people who are experts. But here we have celebration and we have focus on, on doing what's necessary and being responsible to, to improve your resources, your money, or your career. In terms of guidance, we have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Swords. So the Two of Pentacles, we see this guy juggling the Two Pentacles. And it goes to the balance and the decisions that we try to keep within life. When we see the Two of Pentacles, it may suggest that you've been very busy this week. You have a lot going on. And it's going to be important for you to focus on trying to maintain balance, trying to juggle the obligations, the commitments, the bills, you know, everything, the social commitments, trying to keep everything afloat. You may also be thinking of ways to, again, to make more money. Maybe you're going to have a yard sale. Maybe you're going to sell things. Maybe you're going to create a product that you could sell on Etsy or on eBay. So this two of pentacles is finding the balance and you know the balance has to occur every day regardless whether it's a good day or if it's a rough day like these ships are having on the sea here you still have to find a way to stay in balance it's up to you to do so and you might have to make decisions to prioritize if i said that correctly um make decisions you know to see where you're going to focus your energy you know, maybe I'm going to work overtime this week. 
And so that means I can't go to the movies on Friday night. So, you know, it's a matter of finding the balance and the priorities that work best for you. With the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords energy, very interesting. This Queen of Swords, it could represent someone within your life or at the office in your relationship. It could be qualities that you would benefit from her qualities. And her qualities, she may look rather severe and very serious. She holds this gleaming sword. And this gleaming sword can help find clarity, strong communication, and um, reason to situations that you face, challenges, adversity, obstacles, setbacks. The Queen of Swords is going to say, find a way to figure this out and use your head to figure it out. Use the facts, use what you know, trust, trust the evidence, you know, understand what's really going on from all sides of the issue before you make any decisions. Be informed. This blade is very sharp. It goes to sharp thinking, sharp, smart thinking that as you are making decisions about balance and about moving forward, be smart, be reliant on, uh, being objective versus on your emotions and, you know, take everything into account and just be informed before you strategize, problem solve, or make a decision. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, we have two major arcana cards. We have temperance and we have the lovers. I'm sorry, we have the two of cups. So interesting, two of pentacles, two of cups. Temperance, important for you to find the balance this week, to stay in balance, to uh, make sure that your physical self, your spiritual side, everything is being blended nicely, is working well together, that you're paying attention to all aspects. And again, two of pentacles, finding the balance, making the right decisions, not overdoing it in terms of celebrations, taking the time to rest, to eat healthy, to not go to extremes. I would say that with the upcoming holiday season, that people, uh, you know, the, the pace of their life accelerates. And so uh, it's trying to find some rest and ability to, to keep some balance within your life. Here we have the two of pentacles and we have temperance. It's a very strong message of keeping balance this week. And we have another two card, the two of cups, a beautiful card, a possibility for a wonderful relationship or enhancing an existing relationship that is bonded. This could be a deep friendship. This could be uh, lovers, romantic, dating. These two people could see the equal the equal stature within this relationship, you know, eye to eye, you know, size to size there, there's balance within this relationship. There's equity and harmony here. This is the possibility of people who meet each other and really connect and can have a very, um, enriching, emotionally satisfying and deep relationship that brings delight to life. And so again, when we see the two of cups, you have to put yourself out there. You have to meet people. If you're single and hoping to find someone, if you are involved, you know, it could be developing more intimacy, rekindling passions, but this two of cups, when we're seeing twos, we're looking at choices and decisions. And, you know, maybe you're meeting someone and you're realizing the attraction and you're realizing the possibilities and you're realizing the opportunity and you may have to try to work on this balance here within your life. Sometimes when, 
you know, people have busy jobs and they're single and they're kind of dating or not dating and they're working really hard. And they may be thinking, well, how do I make the time to have a real relationship? How do I create that space within my life to do so? So, um, you know, when you meet the right person, I believe that it clears the way, that you find a way, that you feel compelled to make the time and to maybe change things up. But Libra, this is a week for you for really ensuring that you have balance within your life, that you are taking care of yourself, that you're not overdoing it, that while you're having some fun, uh, that you just are mindful of doing what you need to do to maintain your equilibrium. So let's see what we have in terms of an oracle card, um, affirmation for the week. Journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. Believe in the magic of your life and uh, be inspired by the moonlight and be inspired by the new paths that you take or that you choose or the new relationships that you make in whatever form they take, whether they're platonic, whether they're business relationships, whether they're love relationships. Believe in magic. Magic can happen. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Spontaneity is such a great word and it's hard for some folks to let loose and to feel free and to just kind of go with the flow and some days that's required just to release yourself from the the clock to release yourself from the obligations and just to give yourself the chance to be spontaneous and to have some joy and to have some unexpected delight so Libra, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you the best and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.